Could this plane be your very first RC plane? Let's find out. <laughs> All right, guys, this plane is designed with the beginner in mind. From the ground up, this thing is awesome. I love the flight stabilization on that hand launch. That was really nice. If you're new to flying, know that hand launching airplanes, in my opinion, is usually harder than taking them off from the ground. But because this has this beautiful flight stabilization on board, it made that really, really easy to do. Very, very easy. That was nice. Now you'll notice here, get this close shot, that this airplane has the prop mounted in the back. And trust me, you guys aren't missing anything. I won't do anything exciting while we're showing these close shots. But because the prop is mounted in the back of the airplane, if you do come down with a hard landing or even a crash, you're gonna be way more likely to walk away in one piece. Your plane won't be as fragile with airplanes that have the prop in the front that could snap on a hard landing. And trust me, uh, I've flown hundreds of airplanes and I know that props break all the time when you're a beginner pilot. That's probably the most common thing to actually break. You'll fly through them. Look at that, that's such a nice, just easy airplane to fly. Now this design has been tried and true. It is beginner friendly for many reasons. You saw with my hand launch there how easy that was to put this in the air. Um, uh, and it's almost got this built-in kind of handle under the wing on the fuselage, making it really easy to grab a hold of and chuck in the air. Now that was such a good pass. <laughs> also, this plane is five total channels if you count the um, stabilization switch on and off. So you have a lot more control over this airplane than you would a three channel plane because it has those aileron controls and that's really nice. Now Abby, as I've been just kind of flying this around and putzing it around like a beginner should fly their first airplane, I want to turn that flight stabilization off and really wake this thing up and see if we can do a loop, maybe a roll. So is there progression to be had on this airplane? Let's find out. Let's go into off this bank with a full throttle pass. It's a screamer. The uh, flight stabilization is off. Now we're just gonna climb it. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> roll it back around and yeah this thing has some really nice flight characteristics. I was not expecting that. Right on a 3S battery. Now this is that's a really good roll rate on this too. This is the included 1300 milliamp battery but you can put up to a 2200 milliamp battery in here and have success with it. Now even though flight stabilization is off um, this still has assisted flight stabilization similar to the AS3X um, on We're doing inverted yeah, flight on this with, thing with a pusher prop plane Holy like moly. this. This thing is really impressive. <laughs> I haven't even done much with rudder wow. control on this yet either. And some people like that these planes scream. Others might not. But look, let's go an outside inverted. Wow. Loop. Yeah. Now that means we should be able to do a Cuban eight with this too. It's really capable airplane, <laughs> really capable pusher prop plane. Usually they're not quite this aerobatic, guys. We can just keep this up all day That's long. That's really impressive. Well, you know what I like about it is the roll rate. It's really good. Listen to it just screaming. We'll get a screaming pass in here. Can a knife edge? Yes, it can. <laughs> <laughs> sort of it slips out of it even with full rudder look at that crazy sky out there too you guys what a beautiful day to be flying on man this is awesome nice evening very little wind did we mention this thing is brand new it just came out and it is ready to fly comes with everything you need in the box you've got a nice little radio which you can upgrade later if you so choose and actually uh guys this is one of the times sorry. That I, that's okay it was a really close fast pass <laughs> this is one of those times that i did upgrade the radio i i like the one that it comes with but i also really like my personal radio so in this case i just took the included receiver out and then put my receiver in but it's only to eliminate that one minute beep every minute so it does a great job on these ready to fly airplanes let's see can we rudder over nice that was cool that was a cool little hammerhead stall maneuver <laughs> 
This thing can do it all, can't it? I can't believe it. <laughs> now I'm wondering if the competitors can do that. Because uh -huh. I don't know if you've ever flown any pusher prop like this before. So Be crazy. Exactly. And the funny thing is I literally just saw you in our in one of our last videos. Someone was like going off on you about flying stuff like this, not scale. <laughs> so I'm kind of like really amused right now. Well, you don't have to fly <laughs> scale to this. I mean, what would scale be with this? You know, Who it's knows? Just... Get an extra 300. <laughs> That's what they yeah. told you. <laughs> really? I didn't even see that. Yeah, it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> I'm sick of these guys flying things that aren't supposed to fly like oh, an really? extra. That's like an extra. Fly it. Scale dang <laughs> nabbit. <laughs> oh man. They probably don't like candy. He either. left two comments like that. It was pretty funny. This is re really fun to fly, you guys. So when I got this plane, I was actually thinking that roll. Wow. The roll rate's really nice. When I got this plane, I was thinking, you know what, it's just going to be kind of another boring little trainer plane, but it is really, really fun to fly. <laughs> I, everything you're doing on this, I'm not expecting. It might, it might <laughs> I'm be doing more terrible filming. Even like my Bigfoot. Wow. Let's roll it back over. That Let's says do it. Can a lot. I just snap on this? Oh, it snaps too. Nice. That was Whoa. beautiful. Let's go right into another one. That's a really nice little snap. Room. So the question is. Is this just you getting better at flying anything and everything? No, no, because I'll I have to fly the, this. You do and, need to fly this. Put it to you the can test. push the sticks full in any direction, and you'll notice some planes go slow rolls like this, or this one. Here you go, nice snappy roll. So you know it's it's all the airplane. Because I've gotten a little better at flying, I can tell if it's the airplane that has good flight characteristics or if it's a little turd flying in the sky. And this one is not a little turd. I was not expecting this performance out of this airplane and I am having a blast with this, well, you guys. That's so one awesome. way to rate the planes, turd or not turd. Yeah, I'd say this is not. <laughs> but if you do, no, I've been having some fun flying it in all fairness, but remember you can throw that little switch, auto level it back out, and everything will just go nice and slow and easy and scale in a good little trainer plane. Let's go with like a zero throttle pass here. There's almost no wind. This is just such a beautiful day to fly. Look at this. What an awesome plane. Here's just a rudder turn. Give a little bit of elevator, but full rudder. That's just rudder, no ailerons. There we go. We'll come in zero throttle again. Guys, this is a great flight time too on a 1300 milliamp battery. I've got to be getting a little bit low. And if you're new to this hobby, uh, we'll have a LiPo alarm linked in the description box below. You can install a LiPo alarm into this airplane. I forgot mine today. Um, and it'll tell you when your battery is actually getting low. Most of the time I have one on me, but I just didn't grab one today. So if you were to fly it like this, like a trainer plane around and just nice and gentle and easy and docile, kind of like this, just really smooth flight, you could probably get close to a 15 minute flight time like that, or maybe longer on this included battery. Now the way I was flying it more sporty and more aggressive, what's our total flight time at right now, Abby? I've been filming for nine minutes. That's wow, all I can tell you. I don't know really, exactly really when good. you took off. So maybe like eight, eight and a half. Wow, wow. I can kind of feel the battery sagging a little you bit, so it. let's bring it in for landing right at our feet in the grass here. See what I can do. Okay, we'll go zero throttle about, about right here. And let it drop down. Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> I said I was going to land it at our he feet, right? He did not hit us, so <laughs> that's pretty good because there's my feet. <laughs> This is really fun to fly. This is fun to fly. <laughs> it's more aggressive and more sporty and aerobatic than I expected it to be. I really thought it would be a very docile flyer, just like one of the planes that you learned to fly on. Yeah. What was the name Dynam of it? Dynam Hawk Sky. The Dynam Hawk Sky V2, actually. V2. Is you... <laughs> and it was kind of a, it was kind of a turd, you know. I mean, it was slow, but it, it taught you a lot. I now, liked that plane. You didn't have any flight stabilization when you learned how to fly no. that. Now we have on the throw of a switch, it'll work on, well, it comes with uh, ready to fly uh, radio and receiver setup, but 
Uh, I do have my tactic receiver in here just because it eliminates the beep, which is once every minute. It's very loud and for video's sake, it's just not so much fun. But I also just love my tactic radio setup. So for little quick plug and play things like this and it just plugs in and works. Now I'm not gonna say this is 100% perfect with no issues at all. When I was putting it together, uh, and do note that the fuselage comes in two pieces. You see this piece right here? Um, you have to take the tail and feed the wires down through the fuselage. And to be honest, that was kind of frustrating and a little bit annoying. I don't want you to get this and just think that it's all gonna be, you know, cakewalk you do have to feed those wires down sometimes you're going to get lucky and they're going to drop right down and you can just grab hold of them but mine got kind of jammed in the fuselage you got to kind of wiggle it around and work those wires down there but if you can get past that hurdle know to be patient when you're on that step then you're going to do just fine allow 20 minutes and if you can do it in two or three you're better than me <laughs> everything clicked or snapped or bolted together very easily the instructions on these things are absolutely awesome this had ample power on a nice brushless setup and this could very easily be anybody's first RC plane. Could be a second. I know a lot of guys watch our videos. They buy the pretty plane. I've seen people buy the, believe it or not, the E-Flight Blue Angels as their very first <laughs> RC plane. They get it, they get intimidated, and they never fly. Well, to the person that bought that Blue Angels RC plane, you need to buy something like this first. Get out and fly a hundred times and build your way up to something like that. This is way more fun than I expected it to be too, which means that I'm gonna fly this for fun. You'll see me get this back out on the channel. I'm gonna turn that flight stabilization mode off and just fly sporty and aerobatically. Abby, you need to fly yep. this. This is just a blast. This is one of the best performing pusher prop planes that I've ever had my hands on. Ready to fly setup is absolutely awesome and the price is on point. From our favorite mom and pop shop here in the United States, just trying to make a living like the rest of us. They're doing the hustle and they do a great job. Their customer service and their product spare part availability is there. You can pick up the phone and call these guys and they'll help you out. And if you wanna support mom and pop shops and then Abby and my channel, what we do and bring this free content to you guys we'll have it linked in the description box below you can click that link it'll take you right to this setup that's the convenience for you but also we'll make a small kickback on that and it doesn't cost you a single extra penny it's a really great system it's a great setup so if you want to help support us that'd mean the world to us i thank god for this beautiful day this is absolutely awesome we haven't had a day like this in quite a while and i'm very grateful for it especially to fly a maiden flight of this very cool brand new airplane the prodigy uh, massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do our channel without you guys. You got the gas in the tank to get us up here and you keep the cameras rolling. So we and the thousands and sometimes tens of thousands of people that watch our videos, thank every single patron from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have another awesome trainer plane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.